What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Personal Trainer Business Accelerator Podcast. I'm your sexy, beautiful host, Matthew Allen Mahalik, and I'm here to talk to you today about why you don't need a massive following to make a lot of money. I am my own case study for that. Um, but man, before I get into that, I wanted to talk about these growing pains that I'm in. I just took a month uh, away out of Denver, Colorado. I don't even have an apartment right now. My lease ended and I went traveling. And uh, man, that was that was tough. It's it's hard for me to travel and to, you know, stay organized, make sure I'm getting all my work done. But if you've been listening, you know that I've hired a VA, a virtual assistant, and uh, she's been doing an awesome job. She's probably listening to this. She's been doing such a great job. And part of my growing pains in, in traveling and like growing my business is that I hired her so that I could take a little bit more time, a little bit more work, a little bit more time off my plate and really start to focus more of my energy into the the bigger moving items that, you know, the 5% that makes the real big difference. Um, but I've been noticing that it's been super difficult for me to let go of that control, feeling, feeling like I have to do everything. Like if I'm not doing something, it's not getting done. And I was on vacation. Uh, we were in Maine and we took a ferry ride. Uh, around the island for an hour and a half and I'm sitting there and I'm like I should be working I should be working I'm like dude your VA is literally doing the work right now it's all good things are getting done it's what you pay her for you can relax know that things are getting done and for one the control is something that I really need to release um and the second thing is uh this is kind of, I'm going to kind of switch gears and tie this back in but I'm also shifting my business a little bit on how I get clients how I run things and Really, uh, I'm going to start doing more Facebook ads um, and get away from the old things I've been doing. And we'll still be doing direct outreach. And that's a lot of stuff I teach and it really works. But in order to grow the business, I want to start doing Facebook ads. And it's scary. And having to rely on something that I've never done before is honestly freaking me the freak out. <laughs> and uh, and it's a real like, yeah, it's, it's the growing pains where I'm, I'm just nervous. I'm scared. But I'm realizing, you know, having to realize again and again that like, no, dude, you want to grow. This is what you have to do. This is what people who run bigger businesses do. Um, not all of them, of course, but um, you want to get to a certain point with your business. So Facebook ads uh, are necessary and I want to help more people. And I want to change more lives. So this is part of that. Um, so putting my trust in the system that I'm learning that that it's going to work um, and that shit. Now I have to learn this whole new thing. And like, I had the system down for how my business ran and now I have all these new things and I'm moving my course over to Kajabi and, uh, and, and now email marketing is going through Kajabi and I don't know it as well. And it's like, ah, I'm like relearning a bunch of stuff and it's like, it's okay. This is the new stuff. These are the growing pains so that your business can grow faster. And if I continue to do what I've always done and what I've always known and what I'm comfortable with and what's easy for me, then my business is not going to go to where I want it to. So this is just another step in that evolution. So taking a deep breath and realizing that this is good. This is exactly what I need. And yes, it can be scary. Um, but if it's not scary, I truly don't think you're growing. So bring on the scariness. I'm loving it. Um, okay, so getting back to the topic at hand, um, you don't need a massive following to make money, to make good money. And I get it because we see successful people with a big following. These people make a lot of money. They have a million followers, 100,000 followers, whatever it is. Uh, so then you think, well, in order to be successful, I need a massive following. But it's just not right. Because there are also people who have hundreds of thousands of followers that have no idea how to monetize their following. And that's unfortunate. And that's a messaging error. You know, it's likely they probably have a lot of followers, you know, maybe it's a girl and got a lot of guys are following them because she looks sexy. They don't want anything she has to sell. Uh, or maybe they're just like, it could just be like a meme account. Like meme accounts can make money, but they might not um, because they just don't understand how to do that. And ultimately the goal shouldn't be to get more or to grow your Instagram, to get more clients. Yeah, maybe eventually, but really the goal should be to, if you, whatever audience you have is to get that audience and convert them into clients. I would so much rather have my 1700 followers that I have right now that I know a lot of them are personal trainers would probably buy what I have to offer or listen to the podcast or download my new opt-in, which I'm going to talk about teaser spoiler. Um, 
rather than 10,000, 100,000 followers who are just following me like because I make funny reels, right? And, and side note, I had a reel go viral. It had, I think, 62,000 views last time I checked. Uh, it had nothing to do with my services. It was just like a thing about me being in the gym, uh, whatever. Uh, you may have seen it. 62,000 views, it got me like maybe five more followers. And yeah, who knows, maybe there'll be clients one day. Um, but that didn't grow my business. I didn't just like go viral and my whole business exploded. You know, it comes back to your messaging and then how do we convert our audience into clients? And the best way to do this is to master your messaging around your four-figure offer. Now that's what I believe, having your four-figure offer, four-figure offer so you can charge what you're worth and you can go all in on your clients so that they can see their transformation. And this way, when you have a four-figure offer, when you learn how to master your messaging, then you can work less. You can actually change people's lives. You, like I said, you can go all in on them. And again, kind of going back to my teaser, yeah, I'm going to be teaching you how to create your four-figure offer so you can become the transformative, transformative trainer in a live training at the end of September. So again, it's a little teaser. Stay tuned for the dates. Um, I haven't locked in the dates yet, but I want to teach you how to create this four-figure offer, how to market and sell it so you can really grow your business. But instead of doing that, Today, um, because honestly, that's going to take a lot of time. It's going to be three-part live series. Uh, it's going to take time. Instead of doing that today, I want to. This is the point of the podcast. I want to. I want to have you implement today. I want you to start making more money today. Signing on more clients today. So that's kind of what I'm going to talk about. Um, and actually, also not to just sign on more clients, but also to help you charge more money. Um, and get you to charge, start charging closer to what you're worth. Cause you know, I say it, personal trainers save lives. They deserve to get paid like it. We need to learn how to do that. And we all start somewhere, right? So there's no shaming, right? I was at a point where I was charging very little, little bit of money. Um, I never did online coaching. Uh, it was all in person training, uh, but I wasn't charging enough and I was doing group classes, not making enough money there, uh, really burning the candle at both ends and wearing myself out. Um, and maybe you're moving to the online space and maybe you're only charging 50 bucks a month, 100 bucks a month, um, you can be charging more. And it's great where you are. You need to be exactly where you are to get to the next phase. And uh, I'm here to hopefully speed that process up. Okay, I'm gonna get into that in a second. But when you start charging more, and you understand that all these stories you're telling yourself around people are gonna say no, people won't wanna pay my higher ticket offer, or I'm afraid I can't deliver if I start charging more. You start to realize that they're just stories. When you make the leap to charge a little bit more and people start saying yes, and you go, oh my God, what was I thinking? Like people will actually buy this. That's a beautiful thing. When you break beyond those bounds, you start to see what's really possible for your business, for yourself, and then your clients are more committed. Here's the, here's the truth, guys. People are always going to say, that's too much. You know, I've had offers for 10 bucks, $10 offers, $10 ebooks, things like that. Um, and people say, no, no, I'm good, right? Too much money. That's because they don't see the value in it. And I've talked about this before, but we need to get, show them the value of what we're offering, right? If a coffee is $10, you wouldn't pay for that. Coffees don't cost $10. But if there's coffees with a drop of CBD in it, that's different. There's more value there. And it's not just about what it is, but what the CBD gets you, right? I get coffee, I get CBD. Um, that's going to, that helps my back pain and also gets me energized. It's a win-win. Yeah, I'll pay $10 for that coffee, right? So people see the value there. But no matter what it is, people are always going to say it's too much at some point. Um, no matter where you go with your offer. Um, and also, I think the big point is, who are you attracting when you charge too little? When you are charging... 50 bucks a month for programming, what kind of clients are you attracting? It's very likely you have seen this in your clients. When you aren't charging enough, they're not showing up. They're not doing the workouts. They're not financially committed. They're not people who are ready to make the change. That's why they chose you maybe because you were cheapest. And Seth Godin has a great quote. He says, when you are the cheapest, you are not promising change. You're promising the same, but cheaper. People who are struggling with their fitness, who aren't completely ready to commit and make a change will pay 50 bucks a month for your programming and will continue to not do it. 
because that's what you're promising, the same but cheaper. And I love that quote so much. So the point of the podcast today is, is that we have an audience. We have an audience that likes your posts, that likes your fitness posts, that is engaging with you, right? Maybe commenting on your posts, maybe liking your polls on your Instagram stories, responding to your things. We have people that are following you, that know that you're a personal trainer. These people are ready to buy from you. I don't know which ones. This is what you're going to have to find out by creating conversations, starting conversations with these people, which I'll get to in a second. But these people are ready to buy from you. And it's not enough to just say, DM me to work with me. It's not enough. Okay? There's a, there's a disconnect there. Maybe they haven't felt connected. Maybe they haven't felt that you are the obvious solution to their problem. And, and that can come down to a messaging issue, uh, an issue with your content and the things you're putting out. And this is not what we're going to talk about today. But understanding that your program is not your offer. Your program is, I talked about this on last week's podcast, your, your program is, you know, what's inside the, the video trainings, the, the monthly or the personalized programming, the nutrition plan, all that stuff, the true coach app, the trainer is app, whatever you use. That's your program. Your offer is getting someone from point A to point B. Where are they now and where do they want to be? And too often we are talking about putting our workouts just for one workout. You know one workout is not going to help someone. It's actually a disservice to them. They need a program to help them get to their goals. So instead of talking about content today, which I almost just did there, I want to talk about how do we turn our current audience into clients without fixing your content, without even changing your offer, really. So I'm going to give you one tip right now that you can take action on so that you can start creating conversations and start getting more clients and even charging more too, which again, I said, I'll get back to it. I'll get back to that in a second. So I'll, here's what I want you to do and do this. This is not a podcast to just sit and do nothing all the time, right? I try to give you action items to, to do it. Even, even I've had people right in my course, this is not a program just to do another program and check it off. Do the work, do the work and you will see results. And yes, it's scary. This is what I started the podcast with. It's scary, but this is what you know you need to progress in your business. Take a deep breath and lean into that scariness. Lean into that fear telling you something it's important so go to your last few posts your last fitness health nutrition wellness meditation posts whatever it is i don't even care what the post is go to your last five posts and everyone who has liked that post and especially the people who have commented on that post you're going to start a conversation with and if you want i love making spreadsheets make a spreadsheet so you can track these people who responds what they say what what they need help on right so you're going to go and you're going to get in their dms and I'm gonna tell you exactly what to say. You're gonna, if you can, you can get their name and you'll say, hey, Mike, I saw that you liked my post on whatever it was. I saw that you liked my post on nutrition. I'm so curious, what really stuck with you on that post? And yeah, maybe he'll say, uh, oh, you know, I'm just, I'm just liking your post, man. I'm just supporting you. I love what you're doing. All right, cool. I would still ask, are you 100% A-okay with your health and wellness? Maybe it wasn't nutrition. How about fit? How's fitness going? Are you in pain ever? I'd get curious. But maybe that person really did like that post. They said, yeah, that post on nutrition about carbs. Uh, you know, I've always been afraid to eat carbs, but it was actually really enlightening that you said uh, that carbs are good for you. I really love that. And then what you do from there is that you continue the conversation. You just get curious. Oh man, really? Like, what, are, what were your previous thoughts about carbs? Or... Um, cool. Have you, have you taken action on putting more carbs in your diet? Even more vegetables because vegetables are carbs. You just get curious and then you offer help. You offer to help them say, Hey, if that was helpful, I'd love to write another post for you. Or maybe, yeah, maybe you write another post for them. Say, cool. What else do you struggle with? I'd love to write a post for you. Then a week later, you write that post, you post it tomorrow. A week later, you go and follow up. Maybe that's how this conversation goes. Or maybe they're like, you know, I, I've, I've actually loved all your posts, man. Like, I love what you're doing. It's like, wow, can we talk about how I could like really help you? I'm so curious, like, where do you wanna be? Where are you now? Where do you wanna be, right? 
So I talked about before, get them from point A to point B. So ask them, what is point A? What is point B? Where are you now? Where do you want to be? And if you can help them with more posts, do that. If you feel like you can make an offer, do that. Trust your gut. But I know you're going to be scared for a long time to say, work with me. You might be. I know that's what a lot of my clients struggle with. But at some point, you got to make you got to make the offer. But if you're not ready to do that, continue to serve them. Write them another post and then go check in with them. Hey, I wrote you a post. I want you to try these three things. I'm going to check in with you in two weeks. And then you better write that shit on your calendar. Write that on your calendar and do not forget to check up with them. And when you check up with them, you'll be the one person who actually gives a shit. Not someone who's going in the DMs, making an offer, and you just feel like you're being sold to, but you actually care about these people. And it's actually a lot easier to deal with these people because they're already in your network. They're already liking your posts. They're what we would call warm lead. They might even be a hot lead, but they're not just some random DM. These people already know you. They like you. So let's nurture that relationship. And you'll follow up with them and follow up with them. And I promise you this will turn into a sale. Maybe not today. Maybe today. It might happen today. But it might be next week. It might be in a month. It might be in a year when they're really ready to do it. But you're creating connection. And instead of just sitting there and waiting, and I think this is what so many people think. If I just make posts, people will see that I'm the obvious solution to their problem. They will see that I'm the best trainer ever. Like, obviously, I can help you lose the weight, get stronger, have a sexy body, whatever it is. That's not how this works. I have gotten so much of my success. I've gotten so much of what I wanted because I've gone out there and I've made the ask. I've gone out there and I've created the connections. People do not just come to you. You cannot just sit there and wait. This is why I'm wearing my, ro if you're on YouTube, I'm wearing my rocket ship shirt today. You hop on the rocket ship and you take action. Rocket ship doesn't get to the moon by sitting on the launch pad. You go out there and you make the ask. And you develop the relationships. And yeah, again, it might sound scary at first, but it gets easier, just like your workouts get easier. You think you went to the gym, just had a perfect back squat the first time you did it? Where are my CrossFitters at? What did your first snatch look like? Or Olympic lifters too, I guess. What did your first snatch look like? It was garbage, I know it was. But now it's likely you have a beautiful snatch because you've done it over and over. Same thing with this, this will get easier and easier. You'll learn how to direct conversations easier. You'll learn how, um, who, who might be a right fit if you can help them. And that's the other thing too. Don't make an offer if you can't help these people. If they have sciatica, back pain, and, and I don't know, crazy injuries that you're not an injury specialist, send them somewhere else. Say, hey, I'm actually, I don't think I can really help you with that injury, but here, I'll go check out this page. You got knee pain? Go check out Knees Over Toes guy. He'll help you out. Okay, so I want you to take action. And really, this is just a small piece here's my offer. This is a small piece of my f new free mini course that's called landing three clients. La I'm sorry. It's called landing three new clients. Let's try that again. It's called landing three new online clients at double your current play price. And I think you can land three clients by the end of the week, probably sooner if you put in the work that I say in this mini course. So listen, I'd love for you to develop your four-figure offer, right? I talked about that, but let's not worry about that right now. What I want you to do right now is to get some quick wins. I want you to start making money. I want you to understand that you can charge more. And this is what I show you how to do that in this free mini course. I help you break beliefs to help you realize that you are worth more money and that people will actually pay for that higher price. I tell you exactly how to engage with more of your audience, just like I did today. I dive a little bit deeper into that. And I even give you a full script on how to direct that conversation. And then best of all, best of all, I teach you how to double your currently monthly, your currently, your current monthly offering. So if you are currently offering $100 a month for monthly programming, I teach you how to double that. Actually, it's a little bit more than double. Okay, and once you believe that you are worth that price, you'll say it with confidence. It's going to be a beautiful thing. So please join, join this free mini course, guys. This is great. You're going to get three new clients. I get people asking me, I literally just had a DM before I record this podcast. Matt, I need to make I need to make money. How can I do this? What's the quickest way I can do this? And I said, hey, join the free mini course. It's actually the, exactly what I would tell you to do. Because I want you to start making money so you can gain more confidence, increase your price, land three new clients, 
gain the confidence that you are worth that. And then when you are ready, you'll be joining the PTBA. I'll teach you how to develop your four-figure offer so that you can charge more per client, actually transform lives, start taking on these beautiful vacations, enjoy the body that you have that you've built, your health and fitness. But you can't do that because you don't make enough and you're spending all your time at the gym trying to get more clients, all this crap. But I want you taking the vacation to California to surf. I want you to come visit me in Colorado and spend a week snowboarding with me. I want you to take the yoga retreat to Bali. Can you, the best way to do that is by developing your four-figure offer and really transforming people's lives. Okay, so if you're interested, you know where to find it. The link's below in the show notes. If you want to go to my Instagram, it's the link right on my Instagram. It's matthewallenmedia.com slash three new clients. That's the number three. matthewallenmedia.com slash three new clients. You could finish this thing in a day. You could finish this mini course in a day and start reaching out to people and getting new clients by the end of today. All right, I'm super, super pumped for you guys. You, you save lives and you, just, and you deserve to get paid like it. Okay, and when you see this for yourself, your business and life will start to dramatically shift and it will shift out of survival into creation mindset, a creation mindset where you receive more abundance. When you stop worrying about getting your clients and just making money, just making money and actually serving your clients because that's why you exist. And that's when not just your business, but your life will dramatically shift. All right. Thanks so much for joining me. Go join the mini course, take action and start living a life you love. Start building a business that you really love. And until next time, love you all. Peace out.